Welcome back everybody, this is Legit Lee, back again with another video. Today I want to show you guys a problem that I'm having with the CO2 laser. And I don't think it's exactly the laser tube, because that's new, it's a 50 watt. Or the power supply, because I'm going to give you some test examples. And if anybody does know what the issue could be, I definitely would like you know anybody to comment down below, let me know what I can do. But uh, let's go ahead and do a test shot so we can show you that the machine works. So this is a K40 power supply. It's rated for 40 watt or more, I'm pretty sure, of a CO2 laser tube. So if I go over here, there's a little button. Now there's no connection. I just plugged, the, this is the connection that's supposed to plug into the controller. And this is all shielded wiring I want to mention. This is shielded on the inside, so it shouldn't have any kind of weird pulsing going on, hopefully. But um, down here, there's a little red button. If I press that, it test fires the laser tube. And I have it out of the way where I don't get hurt or anything. Um, it's just going to shoot that piece of wood. So I'm going to get that all in one shot here. And you can hear it's shooting just fine and you don't see anything going on everything is running fine my coolant issue is what 30 20 was it i can't even see because i got glasses uh 23.6 so that's still in okay operating range i guess um probably could be better uh we'll be adding some like water bottles or something to cool down the water some more or something but right now i just wanted to show you guys that the machine does have decent pulsing going on through just turning this on right so now that we have that let me go ahead and shut this off i know the wiring is all over the place kind of and even my amp meter i messed up and got a five amp instead of milliamp so i gotta get a new amp meter but i just have that in there for now until i swap out for a different one um so i unplugged basically everything because cutting this power to the switch means cutting the power to the power itself so everything is fine for me to touch i mean still if you're working with something like this i don't recommend anybody doing this stuff without proper safety and you know obviously don't do what i do here but um so i'm gonna plug this guy in if i can there we go push and like I said, this is shielded wire, so I'm trying my best to get these issues hammered out. I didn't have this issue before, but I had an arc going. Like, literally, uh, yesterday I ran the machine, was running fine. Didn't have no arc. To, yes, this morning, had some arc going on over here by the power supply. So they said, you, need, you probably, like, I read the forums, you probably need to shield it better. So what I did was... Um, I tidied up the wires a little bit back here, zip tied uh, the, the this together because it was kind of hanging in circles and stuff. So I just kind of zip tied that together. But what I did to help with the shielding, I cut a piece of this tube. This is just regular like hose PVC, not PVC, but like um, latex type of hose. So it's you know rubber hose, it's rubber shielding. So I cut a piece of that. Put it on here where my connection is to the new power supply because I soldered that together and then I um, taped it with some black tape to keep it all nice and tight and I did the same thing on the top of here same thing over here uh, for this one for the negative and same thing on the top for the negative as well so all of it is properly properly uh, shielded for the most part where all the connections would have been made at and then um the only other thing i didn't try was the whole water issue that they were talking about so i may try changing out my water because it could be a little contaminated because i know that when i was working on the other co2 there was some stuff inside of there so it probably could be the water supply i'm not 100 percent sure but if it is i'll change it out but for right now i just want to show you that i did test fire and you don't see any weird pulsing the, the machine was off once i just did the shots so now that we got this plugged in i'm gonna turn it on it's gonna home really quick because everything is connected powered on and all that good stuff
So now it's gonna move over here. And honestly, I'm pretty sure I could still run the machine. I want to show you that I do kind of have a workaround. It's just a pain in the butt because I don't really want to do it that way. And I'm thinking it could be some kind of frequency issue or pulsing issue. I don't know. I have to ch check everything. But like I mentioned, if anybody knows, then you know I'm gonna keep doing testing so I figure it out. Hopefully, worst case scenario, it could be just a controller that has to be replaced, which that would be a bad thing because I spent like $200 on here. So, but, you know, I don't know. So let me just move this so I can show you guys. So I'm going to move this out of the way of my work piece so we can go back. So let me just get all this in shot here. So, you know, the machine is working just fine for all the motor movement. So we have this at maximum power 17%. We're at like really 35 is what I put it for. That's the amount that I was testing just to do the mirror alignment, so that's really low. Um, anyway, so if I do a test shot here, watch this. You hear it, right? That... And I kinda can still see light going through this tube, I think. Unless it's just me, I don't know. I, I, I think I see the light though, man. It's hard because I got these glasses on, but honestly, I really think, yeah, can you guys see that? The light's still, like, on, I think. But I don't see it really, like, shooting down in this material. Like, there's no burning going on. Let me try just moving the machine a little bit. Yeah, you don't see any burning, but I still hear this light kind of on buzzing that's after i did a test shot which is weird so it only happens when i'm like cutting kind of i guess you know i did a test shot it's still kind of on and then if i press reset it, it's fine it shuts off right but it's just strange because you know i could do another test shot it shuts off for like a millisecond then comes back on See? Now you hear it again. It's like a humming, buzzy noise. So let's do it again. Let's listen, listen. There it goes. There it goes again. And I'm not sure what is actually going on here. It's strange to me that this is even happening. So maybe the water, I don't know. But honestly, it's very strange. I mean, I could try and plug in the USB. Maybe there's some kind of communication issue. But this is shielded wire too. The USB is shielded. So, and I still hear it. Let me just try doing a test shot. Still doing it, guys. I don't, I really don't know what's going on here. Okay, stopped. And now it's back on again. Then if I press reset... So you guys can see everything. Home. Home. And then it moves to the center position. And see, you don't hear it, it's not on, it's only when it first shoots the laser. So I have, that's what I mean, I have a workaround, I mean, obviously it's not cutting exactly anything, the light is on, it's, I just don't like that. Like right now, it's not on at all. And that's what I like, it's off. And I don't want to worry about it in the future, I mean obviously this isn't a good thing. I'll just, the only thing I can do really at this point is try to figure this out or just use that workaround until I buy another, you know, controller, which, you know, I don't know when the heck that's going to be, but all I know the problem right now is that the workaround I have is that I have to reset the machine every time I'm done with a job, which isn't too bad, I guess. I mean, usually people just shut their stuff off or whatever. So, I mean, it's not too, too bad. It could have been worse. 
but honestly this is still a pain in the butt so if you guys know anything about what's going on here and why the machine constantly has this weird pulsing going on that I'm not sure about uh, let me know I'm gonna do one more test shot here so you guys can see even after it resets and no USBs in here to do any kind of communication the only thing we have is the power supply and this controller and you know the power supply runs just fine by itself on off or whatever so if I do this again there it goes you can hear it again and I really think there is a light there it's just hard for me to see because I've got these glasses on and it really helps block the light but I only really see it when I'm super pulsing it, you know? But I honestly hear something going on. So, I'm not sure. And it's on this whole time. I don't see anything being burnt. I mean, maybe if I put a piece of paper underneath there, see if that gets, like, lit on fire since it's really thin. Here, I got a piece of tape I can use. Try that really quick before I end this video. Sorry if this video is real jerky, guys. This is just handheld phone action here. I'm just going to put it right here. So we got a piece of tape. Let me just move over to that coordinate. I'm leaving it there. See. So if I don't see it catching fire or doing anything strange, it's just still kind of on, which I'm not really liking it, but it's not the worst thing, I guess. I don't fucking know. So I'm just going to shoot. See, and then it does it again. So we can burn and do stuff still. It's just, it's that weirdness that I'm not liking out of this laser tube stuff. So like I said, I'm gonna try the water thing. You know, the water is distilled water at that, so I don't, you know, it's not like it's bad water or anything. I got it from Walmart, it's 100% distilled water. I made sure there was no minerals in it whatsoever. And I'm still getting this weird arcing thing going on with this tube. Not arcing, but just the tube seems like it's still kind of on, just not fully on. Maybe like 2% power or 1% power or something. <laughs> I don't know.